what you're looking at is a um al it's an albino blind snake i just found in the garden and i've never seen an albino one but there's his head there's no tongue but that's his head and he's actually if you look right by my my little finger across from it you'll see that he's actually shedding a little bit of skin right there and he's kind of cool man he's just he's totally blind there that's just the way they are and he has um, it's kind of hard to see but if you look where that black spot is that's kind of his shovel nose and then well, you can see the you can see his veins and if he puts his head up, he's real comfortable because he's in my hand. He's warm. When I first got him, he was wiggling everywhere. I could get him to stop, but you see that? That's his veins. It's just amazing that thing's a snake. Totally, totally harmless. But, uh, there he is. I'm going to let him go pretty soon. There's a, I can kind of let him go with my fingers. He might go. I guess I just eat whatever's in the ground. Bugs, I'm assuming. Let me put them down on the ground. Let me see if he can crawl. I'm kind of bare spot. Goes, he's starting to go down into the ground. It's kind of tough for him because it's grass and he's used to being in the dirt. I don't want to pick him up because if I did, he's so kind of you know entrenched in that grass right there. I don't want him to break. But at that, I just I can't, I've never seen an albino one. I mean, they usually live, but he's big and usually not this big. Anyway. Went to Florida.